Hi there, everyone. It's John here. Um, my darling Annie, she's gone out this afternoon, so I'm going to take the opportunity to show you something very special. Um, I thought I would, uh, you know, I was down the golf course the other day and I saw that woman from uh, the WI. Uh, she's sort of pally with my dear Annie, but um, Celia, that's the one. She was uh, practicing her golf swing. It's very odd, she didn't have a bottle in her hand. And you know, Celia needs her little tipple um, to be able to put up with golf because she doesn't really like it. She goes there because her husband John's always going. Anyway, so I thought um, I'd make her some Napoli knee trembler. And I thought I'd take this chance to make a little video as to how it's made just in case anything ever might happen to me, you know, or anything like that. We wouldn't like the secret ingredients and the secret of Napoli and Trembler to be forgotten, would we? So, start with our uh, secret most important ingredient, which should really be from Yorkshire. But in this case, um, Chris and Rob, you know, good, good friends, been friends for years, good lad he is. Um, they ran out of them. And uh, he had to give me this bag. They've been, oh, they go on posh holidays nowadays. They've got a lot of money with that flower shop. And uh, they went on holiday to Orvieto or something like that in Italy. And they brought me back these semi de Girasoli. They're meant to be sunflowers. So let's see what happens. So what you do is you take your sunflowers, you pour them on an oven-proof dish, give them a little shake, like that. And then, we're now going to toast them. We're going to put them in the oven under the grill for a few minutes. There we go. So there we have the sunflower seeds toasting. Just to show you that this isn't just a kitchen show where we tend to do things. There we have them toasting. Now, whilst the sunflower seeds, the semi gerisali are uh, toasting, we'll go out to the garden to get another couple of special ingredients. In the meanwhile, oh, talking about Rob and Chris. And, you know, Rob and I have been best friends for years. Oh God, we went to kindergarten together. Um, it was just after we moved down from Glasgow with my parents. That's why I've got this funny Yorkshire Glaswegian accent, you know? Bit of a mixture. And uh, he and I used to go to kindergarten together. And we didn't get this silent K thing. And so we would go around saying to everyone, we were at the Canapri Kindergarten. <laughs> anyway, what laughs we've had. And that brings me to another story. A bit of bay leaf here for the Napoli Knee Trembler. Canapri Knee Trembler. <laughs> anyway, nothing like a good party, eh? Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, Rod and I have been pals for years. And that brings me to the story of how I met my dear Annie and how he indeed, they indeed met that, that Chris. I mean, she's all right, Chris, don't get me wrong, but he puts up with a lot. She's got a mind of her own, that woman. Anyway, here we have our bay leaves. We're going to put the bay leaves into a bowl. Let's check on the sunflower seeds. Oh, they seem to be toasting away nicely. Don't want them to burn, do we? Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, um, I was just a young lad. This is the story of how I met Annie and how he met Chris. Um, oh, we were just young lads. We didn't have a lot of money. And we decided to go off on holiday. And as you did in those days, back in the 80s, we would get a cheap Thompson, Thompson all-inclusive deal. So for 80 quid... We went to Benidorm. Oh, it was great. On the plane, there were these two lasses, one blonde and very sort of coquettish and seemed to know what she wanted. She was bossing her friend around, who was a more mousy type. Anyway, uh, we got to Benidorm and uh, we were lying around the pool and stuff like that every day. Then one night, we got chatting to these two lasses and uh, we decided to go to a disco. So we ended up at the Buku Buku Boogie Land or something like that. It was something in Spanish or something like that. And what a laugh we had. I like a good party. You know, just knocking, eating the tapas and knocking back the beers. We had a good laugh, we did. 
And then after that, we thought, we're starving. We must go and try and get some roast beef and Yorkshire pudding, because a lot of places cater for us Brits, you know, over there in Spain, down yonder. So we went to this said English pub, the old lion, said it had English fare, but they only had fish and chips. Well, it's better than nothing. It's not Yorkshire, it's not roast beef and Yorkshire pudding, but better than nothing. And so we got some fish and chips. I asked for some tartar sauce, because I'm a bit posh, a bit like Chris. And, uh, well, the Spaniards didn't really understand. So I explained what this tartar sauce with it was like. Oh, look, it was to go in nicely. It was like a kind of mayonnaise with bits in it. Capers or something like that. Anyway, they gave me this alioli. Oh, this Spanish stuff full of garlic, which I love. So I was enjoying the fish and chips with the alioli and the... Oh, it was delicious. And Chris and Rob were too. And I said to Annie, do you not like that? By this time, Annie and I had sort of built up a bit of a rapport, you know, a bit of a thing between us, a bit of a spark. And she said, oh, I, I, I don't really like garlic. So anyway, there was not much kissing that night, but uh, Rod, oh, he got on with Chris and... Uh, Annie, I had to wait in a couple of days and make sure I didn't eat any more of that horrid Spanish garlic, you know. But anyway, that's how we got together. And we're still together and very happy to this day. Um, anyway, I better go and keep on making my Napoli Need tre Bender. Tre Napoli Need Trembler before Annie gets home because she doesn't like me drinking too much. And here I'm enjoying a little glass already. Mm. Anyway, so here we have our... Freshly toasted um, sunflower seeds, which we'll pour into this bowl with the babies. And then, as I said, my parents moved down here from Glasgow when I was very young. Hence the funny accent, you know. Get a bottle of whiskey, just cheap whiskey. I've got this Scottish land. I got some, one of these budget supermarkets. Add it to the toasted sunflower and basil mix. Then we add some nice honey. Mmm. Oh, it's not coming out. Oh, i to use this one. So we add some nice honey. Gives it a bit of sweetness. Because then we'll be adding more secret ingredients. This is the real secret ingredient that no one knows about and therefore it's important that just should anything ever happen to me, like, you know, to disappear or run off with some woman. I would never do that to my dear Annie. They know how to make it. So, a uh, secret ingredient now. These I get from Mexico, from a little shop. Actually, I told you, Chris and Rob, the snobs, they've made a lot of money. <laughs> Lucky them. They now go on holiday to exotic places like Mexico. Well, they brought me these dry grasshoppers. Yeah, speciality in Mexico. So they are. So very tasty. Mmm. Mmm. They eat them covered in chocolate, deep fried in Mexico, apparently. But I put them into my Napoli knee trembler. Oh, ho, ho. Secret ingredient. Now what we do, we get a tumbler. We pour the mixture into the tumbler with great care. There we go. Give it a shake up and down before we add the final ingredient. A little bit of Jose Juero Cuervio tequila. Mm. Give it a good shake up and down. There we go. Napoli Knee Trembler. Vintage. Mm. Absolutely delicious. So I'll be taking that to the Y Women's Institute meeting tonight, WI, because they're having some kind of, I don't know, meeting to talk about pre-Christmas planning and calendars or something like that. Anyway, it keeps my Annie happy. Oh, she's a good lad. I love her a lot, really, you know. And uh, I'll take this bottle of Napoli Lee Twender along to enjoy, to offer to the ladies, and hopefully then I'll give some to Celia too, and that'll keep her happy. And Cora, she loves it. But I hope we don't set that Marie, upset that Marie. She doesn't really like us drinking, any of us. 
to the WI. Anyway, see you all tonight. Cheerio from Naples.